When we see the scenes of atrocity on the other side of the globe, we wonder, how could this be? Or when we see similar things here in our own land, we wonder, how could this be? Or when we experience heartache, suffering, and despair firsthand in our own lives, we wonder, how could this be? We hear that God is good and He is light, but we look around and it seems like all we see is evil and darkness. And it makes us wonder, how could this be? But on the other hand, we, we see the faith of the prophets or of a young mother's resilience in the face of oppression. And then that makes us wonder, how could this be? So we hear from the prophet Micah that God's unconditional love would come from the most unlikely of places in this little town of Bethlehem. We wonder, how could this be? Or when a young virgin mother believes that she carries in her womb God's enduring love for her and for all mankind, and that through Him, the powerful will be made weak and the lowly will be lifted up, that the rich will become beggars and that the hungry will be filled. We wonder how could this be? And when we hear that once for all sacrificial love is indeed the will of the Father in Christ Jesus, we wonder how could this be? We watch and wonder at what's happening in the world around us. But really, I think we need to watch in wonder at what God is doing in the world around us. Because you see, He will lift our burdens from our shoulders. He will carry the weight of authority for us. He will be more to us than a child or a son because He will be our wonderful counselor, Almighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His kingdom will have no end and He will reign forever. And He will reign in love. So I wanna ask you right now, will you keep watching, keep waiting, the King is coming.